Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed your workout yesterday and I hope you were sweaty and got a lot of gains in, okay? I hope you're ready for today's kettlebell swing class and if you don't have a kettlebell, maybe you can use a dumbbell, okay? But this is ideal. I'm using a 15 pound kettlebell. That's ideal for an entry level for a woman who's never really done anything like that. Keep in mind that anything kettlebell, guys, it's a lot of momentum movement. So you're not actively uh, pulling on anything. A lot of it is all momentum. So a 15 pound bell may feel like, I don't know, 10 pound, right? So keep that in mind. Normally we swing with the 25, 30 and that often may feel like a 15, 20. Okay. So what we're going to do first, guys, we're going to start with some joint mobility. So crisscross in the front, just like how we cooled down yesterday, right? So crisscross, crisscross. Good, good, good. So let me just go over some of the benefits kettlebell training offers, okay? So you get a lot of sweat going, guys, with the joint mobility, which is what we're doing here. All right, grip strength, cardio, strength training, all at the same time, okay? Good, good, good. Hand-eye coordination, can't forget that. All right, so it's overall great functional movement, functional training, okay? So hands on hips, guys. Move it around in a circle. I hope you're nice and sore from yesterday. All right, guys. All right, we're gonna reverse it and doing the same thing, okay? Good, guys. Make sure you're breathing. All right, so one thing you wanna keep in mind, guys, these are all kettlebell swings, okay? The split today, we're gonna do kettlebell something, an exercise, whatever, okay? And then we're gonna superset that with a body movement. So really, this is all you need today, okay? We're gonna start with a kettlebell swing, guys. Just to kind of show you form, you're always gonna start with the kettlebell out in front of you, okay? Again, a lot of the things that we do with the kettlebell is momentum-based, so you're not actively picking it up and then swinging it on its own, okay? Feet here are hip-width apart. You're gonna push your hips back till you feel a stretch in the back of the legs. Keep that back straight chest up. Notice that I'm not rounding here. My shoulders are pulled back and down and my head is down. I'm gonna lower myself into a squat, grab the well, grab the bell, tilt a third of the quarter of the weight off, and then hike it back to where my wrists hit my inner thighs and drive up through my hips, guys. So notice that I'm keeping my chest up. My elbows are slightly bent here. I'm not actively pulling on the bell. Where my head leads, guys, that's where my shoulders go. So everything's in sync, right? So I'm not looking up at the bottom or at the top looking down, right? Soft knee bend, feeling it in your hamstrings exhaling in all your way up and where you started is where you end with that kettlebell okay keep in mind that you can certainly do this movement without a bell you can take your hands here place it here and then just mimic this same movement if you feel comfortable with that maybe you want to see yourself in the mirror then you can see if you're good to go and then spice it up with a little bit of weight okay so what we're going to do here guys Normally our drill is 100 swings. We're gonna cut that short today um, just because this is our first virtual class and we don't want anyone you know, to feel discouraged or you know, if you wanna do 100 uh, swings, then you can do that. I know we, we had that on a challenge, so maybe we'll do it at the end, right? Okay, quick front view, guys. I'm gonna put the bell out in front of me, feet at hip width apart, squat down, rack it up. All right, tilt a third of the weight off, hike it backwards into your inner thighs and come up nice and fast. So everything is for time, okay? We're just gonna keep swinging. I'm gonna reinforce form, head down neutral at the bottom, head forward at the top, soft elbows going up, arms straight at the bottom, soft knee bend, making sure you're not squatting at the bottom. Keep those shoulders pulled back and down, guys. Good job. Nice. All right, we got 15 seconds, guys. Inhaling. Exhaling, you got it. Breathe, last five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, that's our first move guys with your bell. Place it off to the side, we're gonna go for walkouts, okay? So you're at the edge of your mat, feet at hip width apart, lower yourself into a squat, walk it out, shoulders over hands in a push-up position, and you're gonna stay down here, okay? Rack it all the way back out, flat hands, Again, for time, okay? Flat hands, good. If you need to, if you have knee problems, go ahead and stand up all the way, all right? Good, make sure you're breathing, 15 seconds. Feeling good, just getting warmed up, guys. Effort level is probably about 60, 65%. Last five, four, three, two, and time, okay. We're going for three rounds, okay? So you're back to your swings, 30 seconds. 
you're back to walkouts for 30 seconds, okay? Normally we do a lot of kettlebell stuff, but you know, this is our first kettlebell class. And also keeping in mind that some people don't have kettlebells, okay? All right, so feet hip width apart, push your butt back, drop yourself into a squat, tilt a third of the weight off, hike the bell back to where your wrists hit your inner thighs and drive up through those hips. Notice that my elbows are slightly bent, head is down, heads forward at the top, shoulders are pulled back and down, thrusting with your hips, not squatting. Feeling it each time, guys, going down in those hamstrings. Inhale, exhale, 15 seconds, you got it. Down and up, guys, nice. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Make sure you're breathing. Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, you're doing walkouts by yourself. I'm counting, okay? Back to back at the edge of your mat in five, 30 seconds, four, three, two, and time. Let's go, guys. Walking it out, feet at hip width apart, walking your hands out into a push-up position. Pushing yourself, walking it back up to your toes, not standing up, but if you need to, obviously go ahead and stand up. Nice little stretch at the top. Inhale going down, exhale coming up, back straight, shoulders pulled back and down. 15 seconds, you got it guys, let's go. Good, nice. That's it, last 10, let's go. You're moving, your partner's moving, you're sweating, you're getting that heart rate up. I want you working, okay? We're just getting started in five, four, Three, two, and come on up, guys. Good job. All right, we're gonna come up, guys. Like we said, we're going for three rounds of 30 and 30. We're back to our kettlebell Russian swings. Feet at hip width apart. Pull your shoulders back and down. Lower yourself into a squat. Hike it back where your wrists hit your inner thighs and come up nice and fast, guys. Inhale down, exhale up. Squeeze those glutes at the top. No squatting. Soft elbows, guys, at the top. Nice. Inhale, exhale. Breathe, good. So we're halfway there, let's go guys. 15 seconds, big squeeze in those glutes. Pull those shoulders back and down. You got it, head is down, following that bell the whole time guys. Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, I want you to go again, walkouts. You're back to back with those walkouts. Edge of your mat, feet at hip with apart. Walk it out. Flat hands, let's get it guys. 30 seconds, this is your last round and then we're switching exercises. So you start strong and you finish strong, okay guys? Let's move for it, let's work for it. All the way down, flat hands. Good, nice posture, bend those knees guys. If you need to, stand up all the way to relax those hips and joints and knees. Good, good, good. All the way down and up guys. Inhale, exhale. Last 15 seconds, you got it. All right, almost there. I know you feel that, that sweat pouring down when you're in that plank position, just comes down, right? Already sweaty. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, guys, good job. All right, so we're gonna go for a right hand swing, okay? So basically, guys, anytime you work with one hand at a time, your thumbs lead the way. So right hand, you're gonna come out and you're gonna go to the corner that your thumb is leading in, okay? You still want the kettlebell out in front of you while at hip, hip width apart, guys. You're still tilting a third of the weight off. As soon as you come back into that swing, your thumbs rotate slightly going back and you come back up and you're squaring back up here at the top, okay? Inhale going down, exhale coming up. Guys, this opposite hand here is actively swinging with this mimicking hand movement. All you're doing is mimicking this motion, okay? So you're gonna check this out right here. We got 30 and 30, okay? Ready, set, and time. Big back swing. Inhale down, exhale up. Notice that my opposite arm is swinging just like my opposite hand is swinging. It's just mimicking that movement with my right hand. Down and up, shoulders pulled back and down. Breathe through it, head is down. Also looking at the kettlebell guys. So nothing changes, okay? Make sure you're breathing. There you go, 15 seconds, make it count. Nice, good guys. Work it out, breathe through it. Shoulders pulled back and down in five, four, three, two, and time. All right, bows goes down. 
Good job. How you guys feel? Again, working that grip strength here the whole time, putting more added pressure on that torso rotation at the bottom, okay? Left side, same thing. Thumbs lead the way here. Tilt a third of the weight off. Hike it back, wrist into your inner thighs, rotating that thumb, going down at the bottom. Inhale, exhale. Good, nice and strong, guys. Breathe. Good. You got it. All right, let's get it, guys. Work it out. I already feel tired and fatigued, grip and everything, just with the 15 pound kettlebell. You really don't need much, you know, unless you're seasoned, seasonal and you've been doing it for a while, 10 seconds, guys, which I have, but you know, 15 pounds always nice. That's five, four, three, two, and time, bells down. All right, good job, guys. Quick little breather. Quick disclaimer, if at any point that lower back starts to hurt, which oftentimes it does because either you haven't done this in a while or this movement is new, we're gonna drop down and stretch it out and do some cobras, okay? So on your stomach, place your hands next to your chest, point your toes out, and full extension at your hands right here. Just, we doing a lot of rounding, guys, in the back. So you wanna just hyperextend that back to stretch it out, okay? If you don't need it, that's cool. It's always nice to stretch. And then on your knees and stretching it out. All right? Good. All right, we're supersetting that with a lower body move, okay? Good. So what we're gonna do, we're doing squats with a kickback. So feet at hip width apart, push your butt back, keep this leg straight, and we're alternating left and right while keeping the leg nice and straight, okay? Inhale going down, exhale coming up. Make sure you're breathing through it, guys. Working for it, another 30 seconds here. Come on, down and up. You can do it. Good, guys. Work, work, work. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, exhale, big squeeze. So we're not bending this leg here. We're keeping it locked out so we can really get the maximal squeeze at the top. Pinching that back, squeezing that glute. Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, so that was one round. Because we're doing two arms at a time, or one arm at a time, all right, that's counting for two. We're gonna do two rounds only instead of three, okay? 30 and 30 and another 30 with those squats. All right, same thing, guys. Right side, ready. Corner grip here, a third of the weight off, opposite hand is here. Ready, set, and hike it back. Wrist into your inner thighs. Shoulders pulled back and down. Exhale on your way up. Making it count, guys. Soft knee bend, hips go back, and you're not squatting, never squatting, yes? Good, guys. 15 seconds, let's go. Hello, grip. Good, guys. Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, bells go back down. Where I started is where I end, okay? Same thing, guys. Left side, opposite grip here. Go into your squat, hike it back, wrist to thighs, opposite hand here, set, and inhale, exhale, inhale. Good, breathe, good. Good job, guys. Make sure you're breathing. Good. All right, let's go. 15 seconds, let's get it. This is our last round, okay, guys? Woo! Woo! Make sure you're breathing. Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, guys, we're back to back. We're going into that squat, sitting down, pushing that leg back. Big squeeze at the top. 30 seconds right here, guys. Let's get it. As fast as you want, as slow as you need to, but still being aware this is a workout. Your heart rate should be up. You should start to sweat right now at this point. I know I am. All right, let's get it, guys. Let's work for it. Woo! 15 seconds. Good, guys. Inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Five, four, three, two, last one, and time. All right, guys, good job. 
Quick little breather if you need to, and grab some water if you need to. We did the Russian swing. Next up from that, guys, all right, is your American swing. American swing, guys, we're just gonna take it up overhead, okay? We're gonna bypass that midline section right here. And remember, guys, with your Russian swing, you're here and you have soft elbows. You're maintaining this soft elbow as you go up and then you're locking it out here, okay? Again, working on that joint mobility right here in the shoulder complex, okay? That's your goal. All right, we're back to back. Same thing applies. The only thing that changes is you just come up faster and you grip it tighter at the top. That way that bell does not flip back, okay? Lower yourself into a squat, a third of the weight off, shoulders back and down, hike it back, pass quarter of a way up and bring it all the way up. Inhale, exhale. We're going for 30 seconds right here, guys. Make a count. Good job, breathe through it. Nice stretch here at the top, feels so good. I'm in need of a massage. I don't know about you guys, but whew, my shoulders for the last four days, I can't even sit up tall because I'm carrying around so much stress. I feel like it's so tight. This is a great option right here. Kind of do your thing, 10 seconds. Ready, breathe, steady state. Five, four, Three, two, and time. Remember, where we start with the bell is where that bell ends, okay? All right, guys. All right, we got pop squats. That means two squats in one. We're gonna go wide squat at your feet here. Bring it in for narrow squat here, okay? Ready? This one is for 30 seconds, set, and time. Right here, down and up. Squat and squat. If you need to modify, you're just going out and coming in. Keep going, guys. Let's get it. Woo! I'm sweaty. <laughs> I hope you are too. Let's go, guys. Feels so good. Normally, you guys, I work out in the mornings, and this is a little later than I normally would, but it feels so good. Doesn't matter, you work out, you feel good. Last five, four, three, two and time all right good job guys so that was round one you already know three rounds of 30 and 30 bells out in front of you feet at hip width apart push your butt back into a squat bells out in front hike it back wrist into your thighs and come up all the way working on that mobility guys inhaling and exhaling good but back head down to neutral good guys Breathe, good, 30 seconds, halfway there, let's get it. Feels good. Notice that when I'm swinging guys, not effortless, I think that's the wrong, <laughs> wrong word, but I'm not actively squatting down, right? So it's more of a pendulum at the bottom, 10 seconds. Breathe. and time. All right, relax. Bells down. You're going into your pop squats. Is anyone sweating yet? Oh my, I feel like, I don't wanna mess up my makeup, but <laughs> I have to dab, right? All right, pop squats, in and outs, wide squat, narrow squat, at your own pace. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's go, guys. This is for 30 seconds. I want intensity. We're nice and warmed up now, guys. Squat here. We're squatting here. Being intentional with your movement makes the biggest difference. You're not only working harder, you're being effective, okay? You're not, if you're working out, you might as well just work out, right? I mean, obviously, if you're trying to get into it, that's cool too, but we want to work hard. We want to feel good, all right? We want to make sure you're proud of your workout. Even, even not every workout has to be intense, but let's start right, let's start off the right foot, okay? So make sure you're breathing. Inhaling, exhale, that's it. Almost 10 seconds left, I promise. Let's go. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. Good guys, all right. Another side view, guys. American swings, we're back to back. Now we're in our groove, feet at hip width apart. Push your butt back, lower yourself down. Bells out in front of you, quarter of the weight off, hike it back, wrist into your thighs. Come up nice and fast, guys. Inhale going down, exhale coming up. Breathe, good. That 
That's how I want you to breathe. Doesn't have to be exaggerated, but that's your count. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 10 seconds. Good work, guys. Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, you already know what's next, guys. Pop squats, wide squat, narrow squat. All right, ready, set. And we're gonna start off here. And if you need to, you need to modify, okay? Wide base, narrow base. Sit low, look back. Inhale, exhale. Good, guys. If you get tired, safety first. Bring it in. Eliminate that jump. Good, guys. Nice. Woo! Good work. Who's sweating? You guys have to tag me on social media with this one. This is such a great workout. Kettlebells are my favorite. Okay, you have to. Because it's, you just have to, that's it. <laughs> Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, guys, quick little breather. If you need to stretch that back out, 10 Cobras for you on the floor. We're taking a 30 second break and we're getting right back into it. So either take some water, grab a towel, I'm gonna grab my towel here, okay? Woo, feels good. Make sure you're breathing. Good, guys. All right. All right, 10 seconds, we're almost there. Let's go, guys. All right. How are you guys liking the swings? It's tough on the grip, guys, anytime you're doing like a one-hand swing variation, okay? Speaking of one-hand swing variations, <laughs> We're gonna do your half rotation swings. Half rotation swings are switching from the left to the right. Left to right, left to right, left to right. Okay, what does that mean? First of all, it makes you appear more advanced than you are because it's just a cool movement. It kind of looks like or appears as though you're flipping a bell, but you're not. You're just really switching it from the left and switching it from the right, okay? I'm kind of gonna go at a side angle right here, guys, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. All right, feet are still hip width apart. Remember our protocol, anytime we're working with one hand, guys, your thumbs lead the way, okay? So right here, left hand, thumbs lead to the corner here. You're gonna hike it back. You're gonna hike it back to same thing, wrist into your inner thighs, head is back. All right, opposite hand is here. And when you come up, you're gonna rotate your thumbs up. And that swinging movement that was here, guys, you're just gonna grip and switch. Thumbs lead back at the opposite. Switch at the top. So your thumbs are facing down at the bottom as you swing down, and your thumbs are facing up when you come up, right? Down, down, up, up. Cute way, right, to remember? All right, left side, corner grip, thumbs back, thumbs up. Always looking at your kettlebell, guys. What do they say? You can't catch what you can't see? Some people can, but not many. But since we're in our house, you probably don't wanna do that, right? <laughs> so you wanna keep your little eyes on this little ball. Good. Inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. There you go, 15 seconds. All the power is still coming from your hips, guys. Let's get it. Breathe. Good. Last five, four, Three, two, that's one, and time. All right, guys, again, I wanna stop where I start. So wherever I start with the bell, that's where I end with the bell, okay? How are we doing, guys? All right, we're gonna lower ourselves down here, guys. Nothing fancy here. Oop. All right, well, Mike was on the way. All right, guys, we're gonna put one leg out here and one knee bent here, okay? We're gonna crunch it out. Ready, set, and crunch. Down and up. Make sure you're breathing. We're gonna go for 15 on each side. If your back hurts here, guys, you can just keep both knees bent, no big deal, okay? But if you wanna challenge, opposite leg, opposite leg right here. Chin up to the ceiling, elbows out of sight. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Here's another modifier. Good, guys. Ooh, nice stretch in my back when I go down. And five, four, three, 
two, and switch. Now, same thing, this side is straight, this knee's bent. Ready, set, and starting off strong. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, modify our both knees here, or right here. 10 seconds, up, 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 breathe, breathe, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and time. All right, guys, gotta put this back. All right, quick little mic set up right here. All right, how are we feeling, guys? The half rotation swing, guys, if we're not doing that one, you can also take it back to your regular Russian swing, which is two hands over hand grip and coming shoulder width high, okay? No big deal on that. I'm gonna just show you how it looks like on the side view. That way you can see the emphasis on the torso rotation anytime I'm doing a one hand swing, which we have already done, okay? Feet hip with apart, kettlebells out in front of you, lower yourself down right here. Hike it back, wrist into your thighs, and switch, down and up, switch, down and up. So again, noticing that I'm not squatting, creating a soft knee bend, my wrists are into my inner thighs, elbows are nice and soft at the top, inhaling and exhaling, good. Breathe, down, up, good guys. 10 seconds. I'm always looking at my bell, guys. Can't catch what you can't see. Five, four, three, two, and time, yeah? All right, guys, we're back down here. We got second round, only two rounds. As you know, we're doing side to side. Two rounds instead of three, all right? Left leg out, knee bent, set, and time. Let's go. Elbows out of sight, guys. Chin up to ceiling, let's go. Nice, remember, modifier, no big deal. I still want chin up. Elbows are flared out. Five, four, three, two, and relax, switch sides, set, and time. Let's go, guys. Again, modifier. Chin to ceiling, elbows out. Again, another modifier right here. You're still working, though. Yes, last five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, guys, good job. Quick little breather. Grab some water if you need it. I'm gonna plug back in right here. Good job, guys. All right, good job, guys. So that was hard, right? Your heart rate's up and you're sweating and you feel good, right? You feel a little momentum. You're getting a nice little stretch. Joint com uh, com combination of mobility and strength and cardio and just overall well-being, right? So what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna put those moves together, okay? We've learned a Russian swing. We've also learned an American swing. We've learned a left-hand swing, right? Right-hand swing and half rotations. We're gonna plot those down about 15 seconds each and do those back to back, okay? So. Join me, all right? So I'm gonna just say time, and this is also a good way for you to kind of learn as you go the name of the exercises. I know for me, guys, it took me like several months to learn what a Russian swing was, right? And my trainer would be like, here, you're doing 40 pounds. And I'm like, I don't even know what that is, right? So I'm nicer. You're in luck. All right, Russian swing, we're going up shoulder width high. American swings, we're taking it up overhead. We're gonna place our bells down. We're gonna do a left hand swing and a right hand swing, and then a half rotation swing. Kind of like a flow, all right? We're back to back. Flow means a number, a series of exercises combined, done consecutively, back to back to back, okay? So we're gonna take it to a Russian swing. 15 seconds of everything, okay? Feet hip width apart, bells out in front of you, head down, hike it back to wrist into your inner thighs, drive up through your hips. The goal, guys, is to not let it go, okay? Inhale, exhale. Make sure you're breathing. Head down, neutral, soft knees. Inhale, exhale, good. In 10 seconds, breathe, breathe, breathe. Last five, four, three, two, same thing all the way up. And now guys, for this one, as you can feel and see, you need to come up faster. You need more power to come up, more momentum, tighter grip at the top. So you're just switching everything on at this point. There's a lot of power into this one, okay? Inhale, exhale, five, four, 
three, two, and time. Okay, left hand swing, same thing. Remember, thumbs lead the way here, 15 seconds. Thumbs rotate back and up, 45 degrees at the top. Opposite hand, guys, mimics this hand movement. Okay, breathe through it, head down, head forward. Shoulders pulled back and down and you're rotating at the bottom and at the top. Good. Nice, guys. And bells down. Same thing, guys. Right side, okay? Thumbs lead the way. Thumbs rotate back. 15 seconds. Head down, head forward. Opposite hand is still swinging, guys, with that bell. Just mimicking that movement and it's gonna set us up for this upcoming half rotation swing. 15 seconds, bells down. Now, keep in mind, everything we do is for a reason, it's for a purpose. Like how I said, this hand is just mimicking, not just for fun, because it's actual functional. When you go into your half rotation swings, guys, that's what you're doing, thumbs back and then switch, right? Your hand is already trained to be there. We wanna create good form, good habits, right? And then practice those. So we can be perfect. Breathe. Good, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Okay. Because I'm so nice, our superset is your active rest, okay? Just stretching on your tummy, hands here. Stretch it out. Down and up. Inhale, exhale. Good, guys. All right, so that was one round, guys. We're going for two rounds, okay? You guys feel good? Last one. And on your knees, stretch it out. Good. You guys feel good? I'm gonna turn and go for a front view here now, okay? All right. That way you can see both sides, guys. Feet at hip width apart, okay? Bell's always out in front of you, right? All right, guys, you're gonna bring it down on the floor, push your butt back, two hand swing with the Russian, hike it back, wrist into your thighs, 30 seconds, down and up. Inhale, exhale, come up nice and fast, guys. Good, breathe. Good work. All right, so with this one, guys, we're not gonna stop, we're gonna take it just back to back, okay, American swing? All the way up, all the way up all the way up good guys there you go just like that head down at the bottom head forward at the top good all right right hand swings if you need to put it on the floor put it on the floor no worries opposite hand swings 15 seconds good guys Breathe, switch, 15 seconds, right side. Woo, heart rate's up. You guys see the benefits of this flow? Early morning work right here. Let's go guys. And half rotation, switching from the left to the right, left to the right. Good, nice, good. Breathe, five, four, three, two, and bells down. Drop it down. You should feel good. There shouldn't be no back pain with this. No back pain. Hands down, point your toes, full extension. You know that saying, you guys? No pain, no gain. Shoot, if there's a workout, with no pain, that's my gain. Because what you do realize is as you get older or you've been in the fitness game for a while, there's no room for that. There is no room for that. Especially if you're trying to stay fly, right? All right, guys, stretch it out. Good job. How are we feeling, everybody? All right, good, 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 guys. All right, so this is what we're gonna do, guys. You guys are gonna hate me because every time I'm like, girls, this is what we're doing, guys, this is what we're doing. I, I hear a lot of echoing in the back or, and then I look up and everyone's looking away, right? It's one of those, <laughs> one of those environments. So 
We're doing a swinging squat. <laughs> All right, how does that look like and what is that? All right, basically your movement side profile right here, feet hip width apart, same stance. You notice a lot of this is repetitive, okay? So it's good, it's always just kind of good to reinforce that move, okay? You're gonna go down, you're gonna grab your belt, tilt it off. Now with this, with your swing, you're going straight down and up. Here's your movement. With this swinging squat, you're actively squatting, pulling yourselves down. Instead of soft elbows, arms are locked out, right? A lot of it turns back around, all right? So here's your movement. You're gonna go down, soft knee bend, shoulders pulled back and down, head is down and neutral. And then instead of standing up, you're gonna lower yourself down into a squat right here. Here's your movement. Swing it back right here, soft knees, never locked out. Soft knees always, and pull yourself down. Push your butt back so this dumbbell, kettlebell here is counterbalancing that. So the more you pull back, the more heavy you're able to go. Do you see how that makes sense? Right? <laughs> All right, guys, here it is. Big back swing, lower yourselves down. This is more of a fast movement. Inhale, exhale, down and up. Make sure you're breathing. Quads are engaged now, not just hamstrings, but everything, right? 15 seconds, down and up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Pull yourselves down. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Woo! All right, good, good. All right, what are we doing, guys? Super set, core. We're going into a plank and doing tap sides. Lateral taps, shoulders over hands, feet together, tap to the left, tap to the right. Left, right. If you're not doing that, drop yourself down. Shoulders are over hands. Head is down, butt is not back. Butt hips are forward, but not dumped, right? So nice straight push-up position. If you're tapping with me right here, let's go. 10 seconds. Good, guys, keep going. Breathe through it, work it out, down and up. Good job, in five, four, three, two, one, and relax, come back up. All right, do you guys see this it's hot, sweaty mess going on right here? If you don't feel that way or look that way, maybe you need to go up and wait. Or maybe you need to take up that intensity, right? It's up to you. I want you to get the best workout and that level-wise is up to you. I can demo here, but you're in control of what weight you're using. You're in control how intentional you are, how fast you're moving, right? How many little breaks you're taking. All that really is what builds a great workout, right? Taking some away or adding some for recovery, that's fine too, okay? We're doing swinging squats. We're back to our side profile photo right here, okay? All right, 30 seconds, second round. Ready, set, and time. Inhale, exhale. Good. Ten seconds. Last one and time. All right. You're on your own, guys. You're doing your planks. I'm counting down in a push-up position. Feet together, shoulders over hands, head is facing down. Light tap to the left or to the right, or drop to your knees if you need a modifier. Hips forward, ready, set. 30 seconds, let's get it, guys. Tap, tap, head down. Good, guys. Make sure you're breathing through it. You're working hard. There you go, just like that, guys. Keep it up, keep it up. 10 seconds, almost there for 10 seconds, guys. Let's go. Work to the left, work to the right, work to the left, work to the right. Five, four, three, two, relax. All right, this is our last round, so we're gonna go back to back. There are no breaks, I know you're tired. We're going right back into it. Swinging squats, 30 seconds, game face on. Ready, set, and time. Hike it back, lower yourselves down. Breathe, exhale, good. Down and up, guys. Breathe. Nice. Good. 
Good. 10 seconds. And time. You are back into your plank. You are back to those toe taps. Same thing, lower yourselves down. We're almost there, all right? Yes, shoulders over hands. Head down, feet together. Plank position, ready, set, and time. Tap it to the left. There you go, tap it to the right. We're back to back, guys. Side to the left, side to the right. Tap it out, work it out. Breathe through it, work for it. Good, 10 seconds, almost there. Promise our last round, promise this is our last round. Let's go guys, good job. In five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, good job guys. Get on up, grab some water, take a break, wipe it off. All right, good job. Hey guys, good job. Bring it back up guys. Our finisher are five minutes, okay? We're gonna do 100 kettlebell swings or crunches, up to you. Depends on how beat you are, okay? If you're doing kettlebell swings, guys, you're going back to back, 100 straight, feet at hip width apart, all right? Third of the weight off, hike it back, coming up here. Not that we haven't done any swings here, right? <laughs> Pretty much our whole workout was swings. I want you guys to keep moving, keep working with those. Feet hip width apart, reinforcing form. Hip width apart, guys. Bell starts on the floor, you're hiking it back, listen to your inner thighs. Soft elbow bend at the top here, guys. Not locked out, so no rounding in the shoulders here. Those shoulders are pulled back and down. That immediately drops that elbow here, okay? Nice little form. It shows me that you're not actively pulling on this bell like a frontal delt raise, right? You're just going with that pendulum, letting it take its form, letting it do its thing, okay? All right, if you're not doing the swings, guys, you're going for crunches. Laying down on the floor, elbows out to your sides, chin up to the ceiling. Crunching as high as you can at the top, guys, and then bringing it back down, getting those shoulders off the ground, okay? All right, how are we doing kettlebell swings? Yeah? Okay, I see you. All right, let's go. Let's go, we're working hard. Looking good and feeling good. Looking good and feeling good. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. You got it. Work for it, breathe through it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You're still moving. That was, I think, 50, right? How are we doing crunches, right? You can do both. You can split it up, right? And then you can bring it down. We're halfway there with the uh, swings, guys. We did about 50 or so at this point, right? You can drop it down, do some crunches. If you are on crunches, you can bring it back up, guys, for those swings. All right, come on, 70 swings. We're almost there. Let's go, guys. With your crunches, I want elbows out to your side, hands next to your temples, chin up to ceiling. All right, make sure you're breathing and exhaling each time you come up, okay? Breathe, work, inhale, exhale. All right, we got 15 seconds. Let's go. 15 seconds, work for it, breathing through it. Inhale, exhale. Good job, guys. Work it out, breathe through it. In five, four, these are slow seconds. Three, <laughs> up two, I still want you swinging. One, I still want you swinging. And relax, place that bell down. Good job, guys. All right, while your heart rate's up, while you're drenched here, we're gonna stretch it out. I like to normally stretch with some joint mobility, guys, because that's more of a functional way instead of holding and pulling on yourself, all right? This is a natural way of just stretching. It feels good. I already feel this in my back or from all the swings, all right? So guys, kettlebell swings, guys. Full body movement, more cardio than anything. Working on, again, full body, core, uh, hamstrings, quads, grip. This forearm is probably gonna be on fire tomorrow from all the gripping here, right? All right, forward and back. Make sure you're breathing all the way up and back, guys. My favorite stretch right here, guys. Palms up, place your hands behind your back here. Push yourselves forward and then drop it down. You're gonna feel a stretch here in the back of the legs coming all the way up and bringing it back down, guys. Nice, good work. Inhale and exhaling. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Work, work, work. Good, guys. Nice. Breathe. Last one. And time. All right, guys, give yourselves a round of applause. You did amazing. If your back hurts, I would recommend that you do your cobras and you do some of these that we just did, your push and behind the back before you go to sleep and as soon as you wake up in the morning, okay? Keep active, keep moving, and I'll see you guys in a few.